All right, who's kidding who? I'm not gonna drag that first aid kit around with me everywhere I go in the forest. I'm just not. After that last video, there's a lot of great comments and suggestions and ideas about how to be prepared in the forest. I mean, having that first aid kit in the tractor is great and all, but it's just not practical to think that I'm gonna drag it around right throughout the forest wherever I'm bucking logs. So I kept looking. In fact, after a lot of research on the web, I did find a better solution. In fact, I found two better solutions. I'm gonna show you one of them today. Take a peek. Before I go any further, just remember, I am not trained medically. I have no certification training in ambulance or paramedics or anything else. I'm just an average guy like you, trying to find a good solution. First one I'm gonna show you today is made by a company, I believe, in the United Kingdom by a bunch of guys in the arborist industry. And I like it a lot. I've sifted through a ton of different first aid kits and different trauma kits. And I think this one and the one I'm gonna show you in about two weeks are kind of my top picks so far. The company is called Silver Bull and they call it the personal trauma kit. There are only two things in this kit because according to them and their research, and it also agrees with many other different references I found over the last month and a half on the net, is that when you have a really serious trauma in other words, we're not talking about cutting your arm a little bit or breaking an arm. This is a big wound, like a chainsaw wound, and you're bleeding profusely. The most important thing to do is to stop the bleeding as soon as possible while help is on the way. And that's what they focused on this kit. Let's take a look at it. The kit is made of a heavy gauge tarpaulin so that it resists rain or water. And it also is wrapped twice so that you're not gonna get chips off your chainsaw or debris or dirt in this pack while you've got it secured either to your suspenders or on your belt. The loop on it, unlike other kits I saw, is a nice long loop. You can get a good three inch belt in there if you want. I mean, if you so choose to wear a three inch belt. But there's lots of space there, tightly wound and easily visible. The magic to this kit is it only contains two things, a cat tourniquet and a six inch compression bandage, otherwise known as an Israeli bandage. The magic, however, is that both the tourniquet and the compression bandage can be applied with one hand. In my view, that's genius. So if you think about it, it's one thing if you injure your leg or part of your torso or your body, but what do you do when you're in the forest by yourself and it's your arm that's got injured? You only have one hand free to help. The tourniquet is a Gen 7. It's a one-handed tourniquet and the compression bandage, one hand is all you need to apply it. Here's the second little bit of magic that I love about this kit. It's a one-handed open and operation. Velcro, one hand. As you see, it's been wrapped twice, so it keeps debris and water out. But here's what really impressed me. One hand pulls both the bandage and the tourniquet right out for you. There's your compression bandage, and there's your tourniquet. All one-handed. I think it's an ingenious design. This particular pack cost me $115 Canadian. You can get them throughout North America. I think it was somewhere in the 80s, 85 bucks, $87 US. But definitely in my mind, a very smart, helpful, practical kit. Fits easily on your belt. You can carry it with you. I've got the first aid kit in the tractor. And if I'm out here alone, I've got a way to try to stop the bleeding while I call for help. One-handed. So hey, like always, you guys know, I'm not telling you what you should or shouldn't do. I'm just sharing information and I hope it's been helpful. You also probably noticed I didn't try to show you how to put that tourniquet on or that compression bandage. And I did that on purpose because although I have a good idea and I've worked through it and I've watched a lot of videos on it, so I think I know how to put them on fine, I don't think I'm the right person to be showing you. But if you are interested, there are tons of videos from paramedics and different medical professionals that will show you how to properly attach that cat tourniquet as well as the compression bandage. Have a great day out in the forest. Let's get back to the woodshed.